Hey gang, Tony here, and I have a video that I've been wanting to make for a while. This is actually uh, Angel Otter's idea. Uh, if you want to check out her page, uh, maybe I'll try to remember to leave a link. But she had this really cool idea for a video that she made a while back. Um, it was the Anti Hall Collection video, where basically she just kind of listed out the stuff that she won't spend money on, the stuff that she does not collect for, and then kind of gave her, her reasons for that. And I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Um, God, I'm, I'm gonna get so much shit for this video though, because a lot of the stuff that I'm not into are also things that people are really into, like stuff that people love. So, yeah. I'm gonna get a lot of shit. But, I, that, that's partly why I wanted to make this video, because... <laughs> It's piss some people off. It's fun. Um, the first thing is act, I'm I'm not gonna do. I think Angel did five. I'm probably not gonna get to five items, but I will uh, kind of echo one of the things that Angel said in her video. And this is really much. Like, I'm just gonna say in general Funko items. I know this is not something that I'll get too much shit for because I think a lot of people feel this way at this point with Funko, but. Um, and something you're gonna notice about like the things that I choose, I, I'm just if something seems like a cash grab to me, I, it bothers me. Even if the items are kind of cool, uh, I will I'll just like be disgusted to the point where I won't want to buy this this stuff anymore. So uh, Funko, you know, while some of the pops are kind of cool, and I do have some, and I get them in the in the mystery box and everything. Uh, and the mystery minis, I have a ton of them sitting around and everything. While they're neat, they're also, they're, there was like this tipping point where they were popular, but then they saw how much, you know, the, I guess the mystery boxes were putting them in and how many people were buying them and doing videos or whatever happened, but it, it, they exploded. And they basically said, like, let's just make everything and just saturate the market with... 90% bullshit, and he, you know, they'll buy it, and the mystery boxes will give it away, and even if they don't want it, the mystery boxes will... I can't stand it. I just, it bothers me. And then they, like, expanded the line, Angel talks about this, so that it's not just pops, and now it's mystery minis, and the mini pops, and the pops on a, on a friggin' pencil, or pen, or whatever the hell, and the, uh, the dorbs, and the friggin' t-shirts with the pops on them and uh, uh, blah, 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 all right and then all the friggin uh imitations come out too so other companies doing the same sort of stuff and you're like oh, fuck it already get away so anyway sorry Ugh. that's one thing i you know i won't spend money on if i have them i got them whatever i'll, I'll keep them most of the time if they're a cool one like the jason one or cthulhu or slime or whatever uh, but I don't, I don't spend my money on that stuff. So that's number one. Number two, this is the one that I'm going to get, you know, people angry about probably, probably, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> enamel pins. What the fuck with the enamel pins already? All right. Okay. There are some really cool ones out there. Admitted. I get it. You know, I understand the appeal, but again, there was like this, and this is not everyone, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, piss anyone off in particular. If you make enamel pins or collect enamel pins, I'm not, like, pointing you out and saying, oh, that's awful. But I am saying that they're everywhere. They're just everywhere. And, I, like, there comes a point where how do you even collect for something like that? Uh, you, you just, your wall, uh, like, everything you wear is covered in pins. I don't know. Uh, so there are cool ones, and I have a few from boxes and whatnot. But, uh, again, I got that weird, like, cash-grabby kind of feeling from it, because they're not hard to make, you know? I, you just you kind of, like, the designs, if you really don't want to, like, if you don't, aren't artistic, if you don't, if you don't draw yourself, you could pretty simply, like, take a, a pre-existing design and have it kind of transferred over, and then you send it off to the company that makes them. So, I, you know, there are a lot of, and I'm, you know, again, I'm not, like, pointing out who's doing what or whatever, but there are a lot of companies that are just like, oh, enamel pins are popular, let's make them, and don't put as much effort, and some people put a lot of effort into them, and they're amazing, you know, and if I were into collecting them, I probably would pick up a couple here and there, I've been tempted to, but yeah, I just, overall, uh, they're not something that I'm particularly interested in, 
uh, for those reasons. And I know a lot of you are probably angry and, and giving me thumbs down and giving me the finger through the through the video right now. I'm sorry, you know. Uh, that's part of what this video is all about, though, isn't it? So that's that. All right. Uh, going back to like the whole cash grab thing, basically, and this is a really large category that isn't in particular like for any one thing, but anytime I see like a company that is putting something out that is basically a remake of something old and you just know like based on the price or based on uh, the company themselves that they're they don't give a, a goddamn about the franchise that they're they're working within or the fans they themselves are probably not even fans it's just a cash grab and they're feeding off of nostalgia and, and I oh man that kind of stuff really gets to me. Uh, so, you know, I, again, I'm not going to point out any, any one thing in particular. But anytime I see a company that is dipping into that nostalgia, but then, like, just raping you for the price, or, like, limited edition bullshit, things like that, that just, ooh, uh, it gets to me. Um, I'm not talking about, like, I mean... Obviously, I make stuff that is, you know, based on nostalgia, based on the franchises that we like. But, like, when I do it, or, like, let's, for example, uh, Jason McKittrick, who does the sculptures and the Parcel of Terror and stuff like that, that's not what I'm talking about. He's awesome. He's making stuff because he loves it, you know, and he's selling it for reasonable prices, usually, like, super amazing prices. So he's not, he's not uh, you know, feeding off of people's love and nostalgia the way some of these other companies do. There are companies out there that, you know, and you could feel it. You could just feel it oozing off of them. I fucking hate that shit. Anyway, so that's, what, number three or something. And the last one, and, and I, all right, this one, I'm going to specifically not mention the company, but many of you are probably going to know what I'm talking about anyway. And again, um, this this is a lot less... I'm not trying to be mean. And the items are very cool. They're, they're, they're clever. They're witty. Very cool. Just happens to be something that I wouldn't necessarily want to spend my money on. Um, and they are any items that are... This is going to be really hard to say without saying. Uh, I'm probably going to end up giving the exact, exact examples. A while back I saw these. I think a different company made them at, initially. And now a new company is kind of doing a lower priced version of it. So the first time they were done, I hated it worse the first time because they were selling them for like $60 or something like that. And they were super limited. It was like the uh, the Fog, you know, uh, from the movie The Fog. They did like a kind of a reaction figure backboard and they put essentially a, a puff of cotton in, in the thing. And, you know, they sold it for $60 or some crap like that. Uh, the ones that are being done now, and there's a bunch of them like that, uh, where it's basically just a back backing card, and then a not a real toy, just like something like cotton for the fog, or um, what's uh, the uh, the Invisible Man, where there's nothing in there except a shadow that was drawn onto a, a thing or whatever. Uh, it's a lot cheaper this new company that's doing it so it's witty and it's clever and it's kind of funny and it's it's I understand the appeal there so I'm not saying anything bad about this because the price is okay you know I mean 15 bucks is nothing uh, when it was 60 from this other I forget who did it initially that was bullcrap this is fine you know uh, so this, I'm not saying this in, in like the terms of the other stuff where I'm saying like money, uh, cash grabs and all that. That's not what I mean here. Here I just mean, although it's clever and witty and kind of funny, I personally wouldn't want to buy them just because it's nothing, essentially. I mean, the backing card, it's not art. As far as I could tell, it's not art that they do themselves. It's like, you know, repurposed poster art from the movies that they kind of just get printed on a piece of cardboard and then they put some cotton in the and they sell it uh, I don't know like I said interesting I could see the appeal but for me that you know that's not something that I would pick up so 
those are my anti-haul collection items. Uh, there's probably other stuff that I could think of, but I'm going to cut it there for now. Angel, thank you for the idea. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let the hate flow. <laughs> the comment section is going to be amazing for this one. All right. See you guys later. Breathe deeper than night. Cheers.